the poem Astronauts by uh, Robert Hayden uh, essentially offers a psychological and otherwise philosophical interpretation of the moon landing, uh, so as it pertains to astronauts. Um, in the first stanza, specifically in the first five lines, and I quote, armored in oxygen, faceless in visors, mirror masks reflecting the general glare and shadow of moonscape, uh, Hayden reveals that the astronauts um, ultimately lack any form of uh, identifiable physical traits. Uh, it's almost as though there is a complete absence of a discernible identity. Uh, in other words, there is nothing to distinguish the astronaut from the ordinary individual. Uh, this, this idea is emphasized via the use of alliteration, such as general glare or, or mirror masks. Um, the first stanza continues with the lines, and I quote, they walk in slow motion, floating the lifeless dust of Taurus Latrau. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm mispronouncing that, but um, anyway, th these lines essentially create a setting which generates feelings of both uh, singularity and isolation. Um, now, these, these feelings have both a literal and figurative interpretation. Literally, the moon is devoid of any life forms, hence the astronauts themselves are the only living things inhabiting it, at least at the moment. Um, uh, in, in a figurative sense, uh, due to the moon's proximity to the heavens, the astronauts' quote-unquote lifeless flotation can be equated to the, the transcendence of the soul into the proverbial realm of the unknown. Uh, this is similar to space exploration in the sense that the moon, having been unexplored up until this point, is also uh, a seemingly unknown realm. Uh, in this regard, the author could uh, could possibly be using the the astronauts as a metaphor for the soul reaching heaven. Um, now, the soul reaching heaven, of course, is a journey that must be taken alone, so to speak. Uh, so there's a connection to the isolated uh, qualities of the setting. Now, the last line of the stanza contradicts what Hayden was originally trying to accomplish, which was that the astronauts um, ultimately lack a personality. Uh, in the last line, we see that the astronauts exhibit a form of personality uh, through their diction. Uh, the use of the words or phrases, wow, or oh boy, act as, um, act as like a counter-argument, challenging the ideas, challenging the idea, rather, that, that astronauts are devoid of emotions, which is not true in this case. Um, this tone of excitement is carried over into the next stanza and can be seen in the line, and I quote, they sing exulting. Um, now, although they express uh, a form of emotion here, uh, the original idea that the astronauts lack any form of emotion is reestablished when the poet directly addresses the reader, telling us that, uh, and I quote, though trained to be weary of emotion and philosophy. Um, now it's through this quote that the author is essentially telling us to reject any notion that the astronauts are in fact experiencing a form of emotional expression because they were, they were trained uh, not to. Um, the, the stanza continues with the lines, breaking the, the calcine stillness of one's absolute other way. Now this line essentially challenges uh, the astronauts' accomplishments. Um, although the astronauts reach the moon, quote-unquote, breaking its silence, there is th there is still an absolute stillness uh, overwhere, or, or everywhere. Um, this ultimately generates a contrast in the perception of the astronauts' accomplishments uh, in the sense that, uh, in relation to the entirety of space, um, landing on the moon is relatively uh, insignificant, so to speak. Now, the capitalization of the words absolute and otherware uh, reinforce this idea. Um, uh, in the third stanza, the, th the first three lines, uh, and I quote, uh, risking edges, um, earthlings to whom only their machines are friendly. <coughs> um, sorry, uh, uh, th um, that establishes, or, or rather, um, establishes the astronauts' uh, vulnerability resultant of their uh, isolation and their setting. Uh, the only friends, or in this case, the only things that they can rely on in the off chance that something should go wrong or, or something bad should happen, uh, are their machines. Um, the next line, and I quote, uh, God's radar God's radar watching eye, um, I'm ironically makes reference to God. Uh, in this case, irrespective of their highly advanced machinery, uh, they still rely on God as a form of support um, 
or assistance in uh, you know, uh, in, um, in 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 the the off chance something goes wrong, as as, as uh, stated previously. Um, now, in the fourth stanza, uh, the contrast and characterization is very important. Now, it's a contrast not uh, uh, exclusively in this uh, in this stanza, but throughout the the um, uh, the entire poem. Uh, I'll, I'll explain. Uh, formerly, the astronauts were described as being armored in oxygen, and it was almost as though they assumed this this heroic characterization. Now, um, that was in the first stanza. However, now in the fourth stanza, the the author or poet characterizes them as antiheroes, smaller than myths. Uh, this shift plays on the idea that astronauts, along with their accomplishments, are to a greater extent insignificant. It's this whole idea of insignificance that seems to be uh, very prevalent um, yeah, in this piece. And so it's almost like uh, it's almost as though the, the poet is um, is uh, 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 contemptuous of of the astronauts as well as their accomplishments. It's, it's Something like that. Um, lastly, in, in the fourth stanza, there's a tone of uncertainty. Um, uh, the tone, uh, the tone of the questions posed by the author, such as uh, "Why are we troubled?" or "What do we ask of ourselves?" suggests that we are perpetually looking for answers to things that cause uncertainty. Um, it's almost as though vicariously through the astronauts that we're trying to find a deeper meaning to life. And it's kind of counterintuitive because it's at this point that he try he almost um, he almost uh, uh, appreciates the the um, the astronauts because they're they're the only source of, of meaning or, or deeper meaning to life. 